I'm taking a look at this. Castile has 83 favors for us. So I think we're going to boost our trust up with them and we're going to get them to go to war with us with Provence. The reason why they wouldn't right now is because um, they're, they're Spain. They're Spain. They have a lot of debt. That's just how they go. But this is doable. We can overcome this if we get our trust up and we get them to call to prepare for war. We'll be able to use them. No problem. And that does include their personal union of Aragon. So welcome back, everybody, to um, the Battle Pope here in EU4. I hope you guys are doing well. We are going for the Holy Trinity achievement, and we've got some other stuff planned. And uh, if that is something that appeals to you guys, make sure you leave a like on the video. I do appreciate that quite a bit. Money, please. I could take his money, even though they are in debt. Okay, that sounds a little interesting. But right now, I'm focused on this, because you can see here, they do gain what reasons to join you in a war. If uh, Yeah, look at that. If I were to ask him to prepare for war right now, they would do it. So I'm going to actually ask them for favors, for money rather. And uh, we are going to pay off a loan or two. Costly embargo. Savoy is no longer a valid rival. So let's go ahead and revoke that embargo. Oh, I'm at war, so I can't join that. So let's see here. Do I have any participation? Pope man. Where's the Pope man? Pope man, Pope man, Pope man, Pope man. Eight. Eight percent. So we'll get some favors with them, which is great. Um, And now I will continue to bust... Uh, boost, not bust. Bust! Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. We're going to continue to boost up our trust with them. And uh, the re tr trust is just great. It just gives them reasons for like basically everything. Like everything that you ask them to do, they will be more likely to do it if they have high trust of you. So literally never a downside. So now if I were to attack these guys, would they join? They're fighting in another war now. Brother. Okay, this is fine. I actually kind of don't like this, but I mean, hey... They're going to be strong. That'll make them like me a little bit more. I'm going to continue to boost my trust with them because if they border me, they're going to get claims on me. After they take Naples, I'm pretty sure they get claims on at least up here. So we're going to have directly competing interests. But if I can get my trust up with them, they will be less likely to uh, be hostile to me. I already got a claim on these guys, so that's fine. They've got a really teeny tiny army. They have Their allies would not join. Man, this might be my chance, bro. I feel like this is too risky because if I drop my 20,000 men over there, they will gang up on me and they will kill me. Now, that being said, if they go bankrupt, then I would be willing to join because their morale gets cut by 50% if they're bankrupt, if you did not know. So let's see here. Um, let's go with the Mamluks are... Oh, oh, they have... Zero loans, despite having 40,000 men, 50,000 men, and they're full occupied. <sighs> I forgot. They're not my ally, so they're not going to completely just, like, crap on themselves and be, like, shaking, having a seizure. They only do that when they're your ally. This game, man, I swear. <laughs> I swear, man. So infuriating, but it is what it is. All right, now we need to get this tech ASAP. France has declared war on Provence. Good for them. I am going to go ahead and attack them and get on over because France is going to be annoying. Okay, what the heck? I did not know you guys were going to be standing there. They attacked me. Okay, that's fine, I guess. France is not sieging any of these down right now. Oh, actually, I lied. They are. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. It's all good. There you go. I'll join you on the siege over here. A little blockade as well. Now, who pieced out? Somebody pieced out of a war over here. Austria. Austria's ally to everybody. Supporting the Florentine school. I can afford it. Yeah. I didn't take out any more loans, did I? No. We're actually making money now, which is great. We have a new leader. 513, bro, you're bad. Oh, no, 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 never mind. That was Crete finishing up. Yep, he's still bad, though. All right, so we've got Lorraine here. What is the claim for? I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay, so this is fine. I will take the admin mana. Next reform, of course, we have to go with monastic breweries, right? 
So um, we get more production of grain and wine and 10% goods produced. It's so funny. I love it. Mercantile Tithe is also very good. Um, 200% stab cost. Corruption. Army tradition. Yep. Monastic breweries it is. You have to do it. We don't even have... We have one wine province or one... <laughs> That's actually really funny. But this province right here will get us quite a bit more money. But the goods produced will be useful. The 10% goods produced will be useful. There you go. Take that tech. will give us a 20% boost to our trade income, which is going to be useful. Yeah. I guess I still need to loot these provinces pretty heavily. So we'll loot them. That's how we do it, right? All right. We will loot. Loot, 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 loot. Condemn the witch trials, of course. Sure, I guess. I don't I don't care. They peaced out. <laughs> they did. They peaced out. That's awesome. All right. So I'm going to humiliate them. Take their money and uh, all that. That's fine. Yep, this is fine. This is totally fine. So what that humiliate does for us is A, it gets us over 50 PP, which if you have over 50 PP, you can see down there towards the bottom of the tooltip, it says due to having at least 50 power projection, you gain plus one of each mana per month. So three mana per month, 36 mana per year. Very useful. So, but important, also importantly, right here, look at that. That's beautiful. And since we are so far ahead of time on uh, mill tech, hmm. See, maybe it would be best to wait until we finish this to get our to do our development. But this is okay. Uh, it's still really cheap. We're going to go ahead and we're going to develop Rome up to 30. What that's going to do is that's going to allow us to pop our Golden Era, which is going to be really useful. It's going to allow us to work through these idea groups faster because it's going to save us 10% um, of all power costs. If you don't know what all power costs means, it means mana costs for everything. Anything that costs mana will now be 10% cheaper after we pop our Golden Era. It's really, really strong. So our next uh, next guy should be probably the Mams, right? So those guys lost a big war. Oh, we should do this. I should. Castile would join if they weren't in debt and fighting another war. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. After they piece this war out, we might be in a good spot. Let's get these boys over to Roma. I just got to keep an eye on here. They'll probably piece out like in just a moment, right? Yes. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so let's see here. Castile would join as well. Let's go. We're going to my... <laughs> let's go. I don't think we're going to be able to... Well, I don't know. We have coring distance from Crete. We might be able to get the achievement like right now. How funny would that be? Um, I probably won't though just because I won't... Hmm. There's not really a downside to marching them, but we got to be careful though. Yeah. Hmm. I would rather like get mill access through a couple of guys down here. And then, like, walk my armies through there. Yeah, that would be better. Let's drop our armies off in Tunis and have them march over. Uh, I'm going to get access through Morocco as well. Oh, they're my rival. They rivaled me. Okay. Reasonable. That's reasonable. Provence is no longer a valid rival. Understandable as well. As long as we have big PP, though. Declaring war on the Mams apparently has given us a big PP. I'm going to pop my golden arrow here. This also gives you 10% morale of armies, which is going to be very useful. All right, let's have these guys march on over here. We'll have them stand in Mangazi. Oh, they got a lot of men, though. Got to be careful. This is all just desert. So none of this is really good provinces to be fighting in. Did they get access? They got access through Morocco. This is great. Okay, I'm actually going to cancel this mill access. You guys want to get access. They have access. We're going to be standing here on some defensive terrain. They've got a good general, though. Oh. All right, let's... um. Recruit a couple of generals. Get rid of the ones that are particularly terrible. Okay, this is fine. If they attack me, I, I probably do lose, to be honest with you. So this 14 stack is on their way. I'm going to run away. Yeah, I'm going to run away. But as soon as Castile wants to join me, we're in a good spot here. Let's see here. You guys want to attack me in Teetery? Where you guys heading, Anaba? That's Highland still. Hmm. <laughs> Catching out their army. Like this is his most of his entire army right here. So we gotta be. If I can attack them, I want to. Where are you guys heading, Susa? Heck yeah, bro. This is it. This is it. Big battle coming up, baby. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, cool. They're on the back foot now. 
Now we're going to have to see Gen Alexandria. They, we don't have a choice. You have to see Gen of Fort in order to take land. So they only have one loan. But they are reeling from that war with the Ottomans. You can see their manpower, gone. Absolutely just obliterated. Austria is going to war with the Ottomans. It's a no from me, chief. I, uh, You are not worth the allyship. The alliance. They're not my ally anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave the HRE. It's fine. So now I shouldn't have that anymore, right? Very good. Very good. They're going to take siege this stuff all down for us. Oh, man. Having Castile in this war is absolutely ace. We've got our galleys. My admiral died. So let's get these guys over here. How many galleys do they got? Nothing. They got some heavies, though. Got to be mindful of the heavies. Mercantilism. As much as I like mercantilism, I don't think I can really afford it right now. Right now, I am exclusively focused. Oh, yes. And I can even release. Mm, I think we'll just take that state. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what we can do here. We have them blockaded right here, which is nice. Castile brought a couple of cannons. Yeah, they did. Nice. Let's go ahead and um, do some war taxes, right? All is well. As soon as we win Alexandria, Cairo is opened up. The road to Cairo is open. And uh, we should be able to do this. I mean, the, the war score is 30, which is actually kind of a lot. But yeah, we're going to be able to get the achievement probably today. Assuming this war doesn't last, you know, an hour and a half. But I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but this is fine. All is well. As soon as I win this siege here, we're going to give that over to... Let's see here. The Teutons are 20... Livonians are zero, and the knights are 45. See? So that's why you give it to the knights. So we'll give it to the knights. They can hold on to it because they're working through defensive ideas, aren't they? No. Oh, defense of the faith. So their national ideas actually give them 25%. And then if they hopefully take defensive ideas eventually, it'll be even better for us, which is great. Intolerable, sure. We sunk a heavy ship. And we actually stole a galley from them. Incredible. All right, let's get you guys... Over here, now, their army, they have 30,000 men running around. So I gotta be careful here. Let's have these guys come on over here. Oops, 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 oops. Sink their navy. Now, I wanna loot these guys a bit if I can. Meanwhile, Castile can siege us down. Aragon brought a massive army. What the heck? Yo, are you for real, bro? Look at the, the devastation in these provinces. They're never gonna get prosperity again in a lot of this area, which is great for us. All right. Prestige decay is nice. Yeah, I'll happily push for that. That literally happened last episode as well. I've lost two stability for no reason. All right. Knights will take that. Very good. I will loot the provinces that have, dev have some uh, development there. Okay, let's get you guys over here. Now the loot, looting is good because, oh, looting is good. Looting is good in this game because what it does is it devastates the provinces. So you can see their provinces are gaining a ton of devastation and devastation will prevent prosperity, but it also causes just local, basically makes the province worthless. So even though they have 10 dev here, they're only, they're getting minus 30, 30 some percent of the value of the province, right? Basically. We're going to take Jerusalem, boys. Deus Volt. Deus Volt, Deus Volt. I might even be able to get a Humiliate on him as well. That would be incredible. Make our PP just absolutely massive. <laughs> it's always funny. Never not funny in my opinion. We will continue to loot them. Their devastation is going to be absolutely just popping off. Going to be absolutely bussing on God on God as the kids say. I don't know how far down their land goes. They've got some land over here, but it looks like this is mostly it. So this Fadel, Fadel guy is here. Looks like they're going for that, which is great. We've sunk his entire navy, haven't we? Seven ships somewhere. Where? I don't know. Oh! Yo, what the heck? <laughs> That's so funny, bro. They're over here. The Mams are, have most of their army sieging down Aragon, which is so funny. If you don't know, Aragon is a subject of Castile, so Castile is completely unaffected by this. Look at this. War exhaustion is fine. Aragon is in their enthusiasm is getting rocked by occupied and besieged forts, but it has nothing to do with their overlord. So their overlord will not peace out just because their subject is sieged down. That is so funny. I genuinely love that. That makes me very happy. 
All right, let's loot these guys down as well. Uh, autonomy change is fine. Devotion, yes, please. My subjects are disloyal. Livonians are disloyal. Okay, man. You don't need to be. They got a Jigalian as an heir. Oh, what is the sound? Why is it doing that? I'm not clicking anything. What? Paradox? Paradox, you gotta fix this. Yeah, I don't know. That's really strange. Anyways, how do I get these guys to be a little bit more loyal? Placate them once? No problem. So, yeah. We're gonna be able to basically do whatever we want in this war. These guys are going to get separate pieced for, you guessed it, all of their money. I'll get 17 ducats. Sounds reasonable. Al Karak has been sieged down. We are in the process of looting these guys. Let's go ahead and loot the rest of these provinces over here while they're going to sit on that fort. They're going to get so much participation, but it doesn't matter because most of it is stuff that is not going to be divvied up in the peace deal. It's just stuff that I will get in the peace deal, right? Like uh, humiliating them. They don't benefit from that. It's not You can't split that value up. This value will get split up and we will lose money. But it's fine. I could take and release a province to get Assyria. But judging by the fact that our Diplo slots are pretty used up, I don't think we need it as much. We could take Al-Karak as well for the fort. I don't know, man. I think I'd rather just take the money. Yeah, I think this is reasonable. Totally, actually. I was thinking I was almost done with the episode. Goodness gracious. Lads, we're at, we're thriving. We're thriving. Truce with Albania is over. I'm a little scared now. Venice wants to want some smoke. Cool. Lose another stability. So that's three stability I've lost. Look at that war exhaustion. Yikes. All right. Minus 15. The plebs are demanding pizza. So we're going to have to peace out soon. They might need to win the Siege of Tabuk first. There you go. Innovativeness. I'll just take the prestige. It's fine. Perfect. <laughs> so good. I will yoink the dev. Make it a little bit cheaper to core it. We are going to hold on for a little bit. I'm going to keep these guys over here. So here's the crazy thing. Check this out. I make these guys a march. And uh, I think I might need to core Jerusalem first. Yeah, core province Jerusalem. But yeah, that's it. We just, just That's it. We win. Sanctity of marriage. Uh, Sure. You can annul your own marriage. I don't. I don't care. Let's go ahead and rival Morocco. Sure, Morocco, you suck, and I hate you, bro. I will even tell you that you suck, and I hate you. Our PP is enormous, one hundred PP, which is great. Now let's also make sure we are not uh, getting the mill access we didn't need anymore. Let's go ahead and embargo them as well. We should always be embargoing our rivals if we are able. I should have embargoed the MAMs before I went to war with them, but I forgot. That's okay. Let's have those guys dock up over here. Let's get rid of this heavy. I don't want it. And let's take these light ships and have them protect trade in Alexandria. Go home at war. And just like that, as soon as we core this, which we will soon, I'm, I'm more just kind of waiting on my war exhaustion to go down. I don't want to buy it down because I'm working on my idea groups. But uh, just wait a couple of months. It's not a big deal. We can't core that until we've cored up Gaza and Jaffa anyway. So no big deal. But that's it. Holy Trinity is going to be done. Which is great. Um, so let's see here. I will send you guys officers. These guys are going to be too way too big to send officers. Their development is 61. They need to be no bigger than one quarter the size of mine. Which they're about. They're over a third. So we're going to. Definitely need to be conquering some land up here. Now, Castile probably has some claims up here now. They don't. Uh, I don't recall how their mission tree works out, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get some claims pretty soon. Either way, uh, these guys I need to get some claims so I can annex them. Genoa, huh? Luca, I don't have claim. I don't have range. So let's get some spy network on these guys. We're going to need to start growing a bit. Bologna, who you allied to? Corsica. That would be great because I could then annex Corsica. I don't need to be currying favors from these guys anymore. We have a mission. One mission done. Rebuild the papal treasury. Papal tithe income is increased by 20%. Cool. 
Uh, 20 prestige. Sounds good. Um, yep. This is conquer up here. This is con... Uh, have... These guys like me. That's fine. I'll improve relations with you. I can become the defender of the faith. The papal states, the defender of the Catholic faith. In the home of the Holy See. The home of Christianity. Name that band. As if people watching a Paradox game don't know that band. I actually unironically like love their music though. Like no... No like weird LARPing stuff. I just think their music is really good. <laughs> the uh the the Paradox player to Sabaton um listener is like the pipeline is very real. Alright, so we are absolutely stacked financially. So let's start building some of these guys and get a little bit more money flowing in. This is good. We don't need to be paying for that, so don't be paying for that. Let's put you on trade of power as well. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is good. Um now, I'm going to be able to core this before too long, so no point in building the fort just yet. Uh, let's build those guys right there, and let's build that there. Rome is already level 2, yes. It is. Okay. Very good. St. Peter's Basilica. What does it give us? Curia power cost? A point cardinal cost? Uh, it's not so necessary, in my opinion. So, I don't know if I got it and I, and I forgot about it. Radical reforms, but uh, I definitely don't see it. Colonialism has spawned. It's 1501 already. Goodness gracious. Time certainly does fly, man. Now, Urbino is also a trade center. Quite a bit of trade over here. Hmm. Cyprus wants an alliance. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. But they're guaranteed by the MAMs, though. The MAMs would not, would not defend them. Might be worth getting over there, but uh, this is okay. The Swiss Guard, very cool. I love the artwork, man. All right. Army size, 100% of our force summit. We will gain a general with tradition. Only need five more men. So let's go ahead and recruit five more men. We can't afford artillery or I don't want to afford artillery. So artillery is pretty worthless for a large chunk of the early game. So nothing to worry about. So there's another mission here. Roman Navy. Navy with tradition of at least 20. Yeah, okay. I don't really know how to get that up other than just like battles, but we'll do what we can here. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. People declaring war over here. Is that what I saw? Let's have these guys drilling. If we're going to... Well, no, those separatists are going to be popping very soon. Who did you declare war on? Ottomans declared war on the QQ. Ottomans are very aggressive. Salim over here, a militarist. Understandable. Nice. Army maintenance is great. Cost to fabricate claims. <laughs> so useless. Um, half off trader. I actually will take that since we are working through our idea group here. Let's get our claim on um, Ferrara. These guys will call in Luca. And uh, these guys I'll get a claim on. They will call in Corsica. And Corsica is allied to France. Okay. We still only have seven transports. Right. Okay. Let's uh, just wait for these guys to pump. Where's the development at? Jerusalem. So no need to suppress. They're just going to pop here in a moment. And then after they pop, I can pull those guys home and uh, go declare a war when the time is right. Got our claim right here. That is good. Actually, I will continue to spy on these guys because it'll help out with the, the siege over here. They deleted their fort. Okay, this is actually totally fine. There you go. Jerusalem has had the rebels spawns and uh, I don't need to worry about them anymore. So let's get those guys home. And pretty soon we'll be able to uh, core this up and get started on all that. So this is great. Achievement is within view. We're not going to get it today because we obviously we're going to have to core it up, but it'll just be an in due time sort of thing. Oh, I did not mean to make the nobility mad. Culture convert Ravina. I can do that. It's fine. Did it say Umbrian? Yep. Couple of Diplo. Couple of months. No big deal. The uh, army is here. Very good. And these guys are still being brought over. Okay. Whatever. All is well. Those are my cannons though, sadly. 
Let's go ahead and declare this war. They will call him Luca. Hmm. Unfortunate. They'll call in Genoa as well. I can annex Genoa. So let's do that. This is fine. This is totally fine, actually. So let's have this guy be the three siege guy. Have you come on over here. Oof, big battles going on, actually. Got to be mindful. Don't be a bonehead and get my armies killed. All is well. These guys actually built a fort here in Luka. Good on you, man. All right, lads. Well, we're going to get this war done in the next episode. We're going to try to annex these four provinces if AE will allow it. Uh, if you guys are enjoying and you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you let me know in the comments below the video and uh, leave a like on the video as well. It's very much appreciated. If you guys want to see what's going on over on the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter, all those things are linked in the description. And uh, if you want to support me, my Patreon is also linked in the description below. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be the day we get the achievement and then we will continue to push towards uniting the kingdom of God. Uh, but if you guys want to support me on my Patreon, you can check the link out in the description. Discord, subreddit, Twitter, like I said, all linked in the description. And uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.